I am about to go buy the world's cheapest mechanical keyboard. Now, you might be asking yourself, how is this the world's cheapest gaming keyboard? Well, for one thing, it's coming from Marketplace, so I'm literally getting it for $5. And then the second thing is, brand new on Amazon, it's 30. The only thing is, it just doesn't come with a USB Type-C to USB cable. So there's that, but the keyboard supposedly works. How are you doing? Yeah, my name's Robbie. And since this keyboard was selling for so cheap, I was curious as to why this chick was actually giving it to me for only $5. So I heard the entire backstory, which honestly wasn't even that bad. Basically, her brother had gotten her a newer, more fancy keyboard than what this one was. And then she just decided not to use this one anymore. All right, so this is the keyboard. Looks good, 60 percenter here. Pretty good quality, I would say. Just a matter of testing it out now. So, we've made it back, and believe it or not, this keyboard's not actually 60%, more like probably a 65%, or or lower. Uh, but, as you can see, the only difference is that it actually has the arrow keys physically right here, and then I believe, if I'm kind of eyeballing this correctly, it's just some added keys here, but that's realistically all the difference. Now, it is pretty cool. This is a Mage Key keyboard. Again, about 30 bucks on Amazon. But without further ado, we're gonna unplug the RK Royal Clutch keyboard and plug in this guy. And I know this was only $5, but this was the ultimate test to see whether or not I got scammed out of $5. This guy is... Oh, okay. It's looking like it's working. It's all lit up in the background. You might not be able to see it on camera, but there's a little white light in the back. Okay, so I feel like this is gonna work. Let's type in subscribe. It does. Oh my God. So now that I have officially the world's cheapest mechanical gaming keyboard and it works, it's time to see what key switches are actually underneath these keycaps. It's got some good key switches to them. Oh my God, Cherry MX Red. Holy crap. Dude, I got freaking steel. Look at it. Cherry MX Red. So again, guys, this is why you legitimately don't need a $500 keyboard. This is 30 bucks brand new. Matter of fact, I got it for five bucks. Basically brand new. It's a tad bit bigger than an actual 60 percenter and boom. Look at this, cause it's really dirty, but this works. It's very, very clicky, very loud compared to this one, but this one also put dampeners on there. So that makes sense, but it feels good. And matter of fact, I'm super impressed. You stole my heart of gold After my silver soul Can you dig any deeper now? Now, I do want to mention that even though I was saying you don't have to spend a bunch of money to get a really decent keyboard, although that is true, there is a reason why you do pay more money for better keyboards. So for instance, like the high ground being at like 160, sometimes more, it's the overall structure of the keyboard. This one may work really well, may seem really nice, but would it last as long as a high ground keyboard? Most likely not. I say that for good reason, because obviously when a keyboard is so cheap, more than likely the parts in it are not very durable. And I completely mean that. That goes with any PC tech gear, anything that you see on this table, the price usually reflects the quality of the materials used in building it. Okay, so I bought the world's cheapest mechanical gaming keyboard. Well, now it's really time to see what it's capable of and maybe do a durability test to see if it's really worth the $5. Here we have the keyboard and here we have some water. And coincidentally, this is the only water bottle we have with this much water in it because our water shut off for construction purposes only, coincidentally. I only missed like half the bottle. Yeah. Yeah, it's soaked.
Thank you.